Welcome to the Top Listing Agent Show, the place to be to stay on the cutting edge of what it takes to sell more homes in less time. Each week, your host, Shadi Bazzi, will share with you the best skill sets, systems, and strategies so you can become a top listing agent. And now, let the show begin. Hey there, Shadi Bazzi here, and welcome to the Top Listing Agent Show. Uh, we're recording this episode on the first Monday of 2017, so I'll begin by saying hope you had a marvelous uh, New Year's Eve and you're already off to a great start for 2017. Uh, we're coming to you live every single week, so if you're watching this video because it's a recorded uh, you know, version of the podcast on Facebook, Instagram, or, or YouTube, or on my website, you definitely want to make sure that you subscribe uh, on your podcast application so you can get these trainings every single week. So what are we talking about this week? I really like for the last 10 minutes been wrecking my mind on because I have already made a list of all the things that I want to share with you this year and what is it specifically that I want to talk to you about and I felt like one of the more important things I want to talk to you about is the following and it's how to up level or better yet how to level up your marketing so you could become a top listing agent. How to level up your marketing so you could become a top listing agent. See, 2017, I'm calling it the year of omnipresence. It's the year of omnipresence. This is the year of the new guy. And what I mean by the new guy is not necessarily the new guy who just got his license uh, and, and is going to knock it out of the park and become a top listing agent, etc. What I'm talking about the new guy is the, is the person who is going to really take marketing, okay? Marketing their brand, marketing their business very seriously and treat it like a business and is going to be able to do remarkable numbers that for many people are unheard of regardless of how long you've been in the business. So 2017 is the year of omnipresence. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about you being everywhere all the time. We're recording right now this episode. I'm going to give you an example of, of what I'm doing. So I'm recording right here. You're watching me record this on video. This is a podcast episode. Okay. So what are we going to do with this? We are going to strip the audio and we're going to upload it to iTunes as a podcast. You're probably listening to it that way right now. We're going to take that audio and we're going to upload it to Stitcher. So that way the Android users will have access to it. The Apple users will have access to it. We're going to take this video and what are we going to do with this video? We're going to upload it to YouTube. We're going to share it on my website. We are going to share it on Facebook. Then we're going to break it down into little mini videos to promote the big video and we're going to share that on Facebook. We're going to share that on YouTube and we're going to share that on uh, Instagram and we will do a couple little snaps to promote this. So look at this. One piece of content. Do all the hard work one time one piece of content and then we're going to distribute this everywhere. This is how you create omnipresence. So let me give you some specific steps, okay? So there's online marketing and there's offline marketing, okay? Some people hang, hang out offline and prefer to receive your messaging, your marketing offline in the form of direct mail, etc. Some people like the online marketing. By the way, most people are now online, okay? And you know what? I just really thought about this right now. I really want to talk to you about this. Here's what I want to, want to tell you. Every single one of your leads, regardless of where you generate the lead from, here on forward needs to be treated as an online lead. Every single lead you ever generate needs to be treated as an online lead. And let me tell you why. Because let's say somebody walks into your open house and they give you their name and number, etc. You just generated a lead, right? Guess what's going to happen when they turn their back and walk out the door? They're going to look you up online. Okay, they're gonna look you up online. And if you don't show up online, then guess what? Exactly, you don't show up online, they're gonna go on to the next person because your credibility has just been killed. So how do you create this kind of omnipresence? Let's talk about the online version marketing of it right now. So here's what I want you to do. You need to get in the mindset right now of creating consistent content. Creating consistent content adding value to your marketplace, adding value to your current client base, etc. So here's what I'm going to suggest you do. I want you to take out a pen and paper. 
pen and paper or a digital tablet, whatever you want to do, however you want to do it, it's totally up to you. But I want you to write down the following questions. And the questions are, question number one, what are the most common questions that sellers ask? What are the most common seller asked questions? Make a list of all those questions. So that's question number one. Question number two is this, what are the most common buyer asked questions? And then make a list of those common asked questions. So now you got a list of most common frequently asked questions by buyers, most common frequently asked questions by sellers. So you should come up with about 10, 15, 20 of them, whatever it is. Here's what you do on another piece of paper now, like 20 pieces of paper, however many it's gonna take, every single question you're gonna write it down on a blank piece of paper and then right below that, you are either going to handwrite and or type the answer. See, that question is now a piece of content, okay? That is the title of the video. That is the title of the article that you're creating content on, etc. okay? And then the answer, that's the answer. So what do you do? For example, a uh, frequently asked question by a seller would be, uh, how do I maximize uh, a return on my investment? Or how can I get more, how can I get the most amount of money for my home? Okay, I mean, that right there is a very common question that's being asked by sellers, okay? So what you do is you do something like I'm doing right now, get on a, uh, create a video about it, okay? and then answer that question and that becomes one piece of content for you. See, most people don't create the content for a couple of different reasons. Number one, they don't know what kind of content to create. I've already solved that for you right now. Uh, number two, they don't know how to create the content. Well, how to create the content is very simple right now. You can get a high school kid. Hey, Z, you're in high school, right? Yep. Okay, and you're recording this video, right? Yep. And everybody that's watching this, this is good quality, right? So for a couple of bucks an hour, don't, you know, not a couple of bucks an hour, but, you know, take care of, you know, people from your community, et cetera. They can record the video for you and or you can grab your iPhone or, you know, whatever kind of mobile device you have and you can record the video that way. You have absolutely no excuse to not be creating content. So, look, this is one of the biggest tips that I could give you is to look. And then what you do is then you just release one video every single so look, today what you can do is you can create 20 videos today and that's enough content for you to distribute over the course of the next 20 weeks okay so that's creating content buyer questions seller questions and then you do you know periodic um you know market updates maybe you can do a, a video market update once a week or you know once every other week or once a month it's totally up to you just be in the game be in the game create uh, content and share the content. So that's the creating the content. So look, you can create the content in, in, in a way of, you know, video like we're talking about and or you can do graphics and or, you know, just simple text, whatever, whatever is easier for you. Even if you don't want to do video, this is the year of video. But even if you don't want to do video, it don't matter. Just do something. Okay. So now let's talk about distribution. Okay, where do you share this content? Well, number one, you should Definitely be sharing it on Facebook. Everyone is on Facebook. Your clients are on Facebook. Um, everyone's on Facebook, so Facebook is one place. Uh, where else could you share that, that, that content? On Instagram, okay? Where else? On YouTube. Where else? On your website. Do you have a website? Guys, it's 2017. If you ain't got a website, you really don't got a business because we just talked about all the new people Okay, all the new people who are you are meeting and picking up as a lead, it doesn't matter where you're picking them up as a lead at, what's happening is these people are going to look you up online. If you ain't got a website, if you ain't got online presence, then you lose. Now, here's the upside and exactly why you got to do this. The upside and exactly why you got to do this. When you meet a lead and they look you up online and 10, 15, 20 pieces of your content show up. What is that going to do to your credibility? What is that going to do to your authority? What is that going to do in your expert positioning? Are you immediately going to be perceived as an expert? You answer that question right now. 
if a lead looked you up online, they just met you at an open house or you called up an expired or for sale plan or it doesn't matter. They looked you up online and then 10 pieces of your content showed up. Are they going to perceive you as an expert in that moment? Yes or no? Answer that question. Yes or no? You know the answer is yes. And when they perceive you as an expert, guess how they speak to you? They speak to you as if you are the expert. Guess how they listen to you? They listen to you like you are the expert. And when they listen to you like the expert, it's gonna be a much smoother and better transaction for you. Much smoother and better transaction for you because they are gonna be following your lead and you are gonna be leading the way. So guys, I mean, you create the content, you put it on your website, and then what you do is you email your database, you know, that you just created the new piece of content, they go to your website, okay, they consume your content. So every single week, week in, week out, you are expanding that relationship with your audience. Look, there's so much more to talk about in regards to this topic. There's so much more that I am gonna be sharing with you every single week. So I'm gonna stop right here for right now. I think I've given you a lot. So what I'd love for you to do is I'd love for you to, uh, you know, just share with me, you know, on, on my social media, on my Instagram and or on, on my Facebook, share with me your content that you are creating. I want you to go on my Facebook wall or on my Instagram and, you know, tag me in, in your post, et cetera. Let's give you some, you know, free distribution. And I wanna take a look at your content. I wanna be able to critique your content. I wanna help you. Uh, do better content for 2017. So look, again, this is the year of omnipresence. Let's up level or level up your marketing and become a top listing agent in 2017. Thank you very much. I'll see you on the next episode real soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Done. Thanks. Did we